Masonry with perfect joints raises two questions. The first and most popular question of how such precision was achieved is actually not the main one, because the tool marks on the blocks can provide the answers. The second question is far more important. Why was such precision and jointing necessary? What were the reasons? The answer lies in the fact that within a single structure, with extremely rare exceptions, only one type of stone was used, and that the masonry served to seal fractures and to add volume to natural rock outcrops. These two facts indicate that the masonry was meant to supplement natural rock formations where the available mass was insufficient, and to do so in such a way that the result would be a monolithic structure not inferior to, and perhaps even superior to, the natural one. This explanation simultaneously accommodates both the alternative and the canonical historical viewpoints. The official perspective can adopt such an interpretation as a basis for religious practices focused on the veneration of the stone element, while the alternative perspective can use it to support ideas involving acoustic resonances related to the highest possible homogeneity of the medium under such conditions.